hello friends uh, today we will talk about certainly verilog coding i think uh, verilog is a very very necessary part as per as vlsi or any branch is concerned electronics is concerned so we will deal today with the d flip flop simple d flip flop we will design i will explain you the working of simple d flip flop but let's consider these as a simple d flip flop okay the working i will tell you for d flip flop there is one clock pulse input that is d there is output q and there are two asynchronous inputs preset and clear whenever if preset is zero clear is zero and whenever there is a clock edge this is positive clock d flip flop whenever there is a positive clock edge that time q will be assigned with the d this thing now we have to design with the very long that is we will design this is in silent okay now also here one thing is that one input is a preset and another is a clear these are to known as asynchronous input it means they are not synchronized with this clock and d if preset is 1 clear is zero we will apply any input any clock edge that time what output we are expecting what yes one it should get to one now same way if preset is made to zero clear is made to one that time what output should we expect there should uh, if we consider any input any clock but preset is zero clear is one that time what output should we expect zero yes you are very right now let's proceed to the actual program fine but now for very long how to write the program i will explain you step by step okay now first open your web install xilinx open it go to file new project name that project then say i'll explain you step by step go to new project name that project d flip flop one okay this is something like fine and next next okay now we will get some blank now click here right click or go to project new source very log module will writing this program in very log okay, very log module d flip flop okay here now you have to give the input what are your input d is your input then clock is your input then preset is your input then clear is your input what is your output q is your output make this as an output okay these are one bit fine next now you have to write here the output or the thing that is the code you have to write now you know that the flip flop is a sequential circuit it require a clock so what we are doing it will work only when there is a change in a clock now what program will write the program writing statement is always at passage of a clock or this is what clock now there are two asynchronous intervals so we have to mention them as well passage of a preset or passage of a clear if this happen then we have to go to begin and then it's like writing a loop in a c okay now if this happen then what now if there is a preset it means that what we should do what is q yes what whatever with the clock d right yes now if now preset is not there else if there is a clear then what should be q zero right now else if this two are not happening then what should be the q q must be equal to d that is the input okay fine now we do have to be we do have to run this program so how to run this program go here go click on simulation you will find d flip flop 
can maximize this here simulate behavioral yes we didn't save this okay it will run and it will show you the window now some some error is there oh actually if you are assigning values to q whenever you are assigning any value in the always block then this the variable which get the value it should be of type range okay fine if you make it range if we save all then i think then we will get the correct output what output we are expecting now we'll see how to write a text bench in the simulation block only guys this is a very interesting thing i am suggesting you guys to read this okay first of all right click here you will get force clock go click on force clock the leading edge is 0 trailing edge is 1 and make the period as an 100 due to cycle is 50 percent okay make it okay now we have to apply preset and clear force constant go binary make preset as a 1 apply now change to now you have to change the clear right here your variable clear make clear as a 0 apply now apply your d d should be 0 apply ok now we will see what output should we expect we made preset as a 1 what output should we expect it should be 1 as input is 0 though now we will change this value again now we will make preset as a 0 apply change it change to another variable now make for clear as a 1 apply now make d as a 1 as well apply ok now what output should we expect q should be 0 right what is q 0 e yes we are getting now we will make preset as well as clear to 0 clear we should make it to 0 preset also we require to make it to 0 and what about d what d should we do d should be what 0 no no both are many we should make d as a 1 ok apply ok what output should we expect 1 right yes we are getting 1 now hence we did our program right if you have any query about this please let me know post in a comment thank you very much have a nice day bye